Okay, so I think it's about time someone did a Windows Phone Generation 1 handset versus a Windows Phone Generation 2 handset. Um, and that's exactly what I have here. On the left hand side I have the uh, Samsung Omnia 7. It was released right on one year ago. It is it was originally released with Windows Phone 7, Windows Phone 7, uh, and then later has been updated through Nodo and then to Windows Phone Mango. It's currently on 7740, exactly the same build as this phone on the right hand side, which is the Samsung Omnia W, the successor to the Omnia 7. Um, basically the same phone. As you can see, it's quite a bit smaller. It's got a smaller display. It's got the same Gorilla Glass front. Uh, they've both got Samsung branding on the top hand side. They've got the same buttons across the bottom and they've both got uh, physical um, home buttons, uh, which is great. They've got the same buttons along the side, almost identical. Um, on the right hand side of each device we have the power. Um, down the, the bottom right hand side we have the uh, camera button, dedicated camera button, which is half a press for focus, just like a normal camera, and then full press to take a photo. Um, and on this side of the device, we the devices we have um, the volume rocker there. Uh, on the back of the devices, you can see they're quite similar. They're a little bit different. Uh, with the Samsung branding there. Um, the Omnia 7 was all one piece of aluminium. This this whole phone is one piece of aluminium. Um, uh, whereas with the Omnia W, it is lighter, but um, apart from still having Gorilla Glass, the rest of it is plastic. Um, this is all plastic around the outside. I don't see it as a problem. Uh, it still looks very good. Um, some people like um, aluminium, but um, I, I don't see it as a problem. Uh, you can see they've got identical cameras. Um, 5 megapixel camera with an LED flash. Um, this LED flash on the Samsung Omnia W, it's 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 an improvement. Um, it's the same brightness, but instead of being as directional as the Omnia 7, it's much wider, uh, much wider, and a nicer spread for it. Ta it takes better photos uh, with the flash. Um, the back of the Samsung Omnia W actually just um, clips on and clips off, whereas this one here has a little has a little um, like a clip there that you can pull to to remove the back of the device. It becomes a bit of an issue because if you break that, then it will actually stop working um, and you won't be able to um, keep the back on Then you'll have to start putting tape on it and stuff like that, which is not good. This phone is much better. It's got nothing like that. Um, it's slightly thinner. It's much lighter. It's about 20 grams lighter. It weighs about 115 grams. I weighed it the other day. Um, it has a 1.4 gigahertz processor, whereas the Omni 7 has a 1 gigahertz processor. Uh, same amount of RAM, same amount of storage. Um, uh, it also has a front-facing camera here, but apart from that, it's basically the same device. So, seeing as they're both running Windows Phone, uh, Windows Phone 7.5, uh, Mango, um, the performance increase, if there is an increase, will be mainly down to an improvement in the processor, um, the, the speed of the RAM and the speed of the storage, um, basically the same phones. Okay, what we'll do, the first thing is do a power on, three, two, one, and this phone didn't turn on then, so just, um, it'll be a little bit slower, this one here, the Omnia W, in theory. Should be slower. As you can see there, Windows Windows Phone 7.5 boots very, very fast. And I'll just log into this. Okay, there we are. We're both we're um, in the home screen there. So the first thing you can see there is that obviously they've got a different colour. But on the right-hand side, um, the screen is smaller. It's a 3.7-inch display, whereas the Omnia 7 is a 4-inch display. I personally found that the Omnia 7 was too large of a device. Um, 
I would much I, I much rather the small phone. This is um, just a little bit smaller than the iPhone 4. Um, it has nice rounded um, curves to it. Uh, it, it it's a really, really nice device. So the first thing we'll do is we'll launch a few applications and the first one that I want to launch is just the phone. Um, we'll just go straight into that. And the Omnia W is faster. You can see straight away that it is a faster device. We'll just go back um, and we'll open the messaging hub. And again, it's just a faster device. So it's great to see that these Generation 2 handsets are very much the same as the, uh, the Generation 1 handsets, but they are faster in most respects. Um, almost every respect that I can find. So let's just uh, pan across here. And we'll open up another application here. Um, this, this is a third-party app called... Oops. Just... Uh, Load that again properly. It's called AppFlow and it's just got um, applications. Now you can see a load of faster on the Omni 7 there, but the Omni W caught up um, very fast. I think, I think maybe it was stored in cache. But as you can see, um, the Omni W and the Omni 7 perform very well. Uh, let's go to New and Impressive and just see how quick they um, get the data off Wi-Fi. They're both connected to Wi-Fi, and you can see there the Omni W is faster. Uh, very similar. Okay, we'll go back. Now we'll leave these applications running in the um, in the background. If I press press and hold back you can see that we've got the same things running in the background. So we'll just uh, go home again and we'll scroll across and we'll open up something else. Uh, just have a quick look through here and we'll open up let's try this. Dude, where is my update? You can see again the Omni W is faster it just pulls the information down faster as well. Um, faster processor, what can I say? Does a very good job. Just go across to the right. And the Omni W is just, it's, it's a smoother device. Still got the same applications loaded in memory, as you can see. The same things loaded up, so it's very precise. Um, the next thing we'll open up is the web browser. Now, the web browser on Windows Phone Mango is very, very good. It's very smooth. Um, it's an Ad Explorer. Where are you? There you are. And I personally didn't think that it could get any faster, but after using the Samsung on the W, uh, let's just stop this, stop that. Let's go to um, the same website on each device. After using the Samsung on the W, um, the Omni 7 does seem noticeably slower. Uh, it's quite impressive. The Omni W performs very, very well, and I'll show you that in a minute. If I go to uh, uh, pocketnow.com, and I'll do the same thing on this device. Even though it's been pre-caged on this, should be um, okay. This has gone to the mobile, so I'll just go to the desktop version here, and we'll open up the same article on each device. Um, you can see they render the page the same. Um, the Omni 7 seems to have slowed down right at the end, but it is still browsable. Okay, now you can see the Omni 7 is very smooth, very, very smooth, but when comparing it to the Omni W, the Omni W is just, it's so much better. Um, let's do a quick, you can see there, the Omni W is just much smoother, it's amazing. Um, do a pinch to zoom, and a pinch to zoom here. It's very good on the Omni 7, but the Omni W, it's just, it's, it's uh, quite impressive how 
how fluid it really is. Um, I would say it's definitely on par with the iPhone 4 and the 4S, uh, if not if not faster. I would say that the browser is um, quite good. Uh, let's open up another thing here. We've got just this this article. Um, yeah. Okay, they've both been launched. And you can see straight away the Omnia W is faster again. So there's yet another test showing that the Generation 2 handsets are faster than the Generation 1 handsets. So it's great to see that it's an improvement. Okay. We'll go back. Now what I'd like to do is launch the same application on both devices. Um, go to games on each. Games. Omni W again. And I'll open up a game called Survival Craft. It's a um, Minecraft ripoff, I would, I would say. But it's really good for testing performance. Um, I've got them both set for um, the highest graphic setting. Um, and we'll just launch them now. Okay, the Omnia W is ahead. Let's spin this around. You can see the screen's an improvement as well. The whites are better. And the colours are better on the Omnia W. Okay, we'll just go uh, single player. And both, and we'll start a new. Actually, I have to delete one of these. Delete. Yes. And we'll go new. Uh, uh, why don't I just delete all of them? We'll make it even fairer. Uh, I don't think it's going to make a difference, but uh, let's delete that. Okay. New world. And play. Pugger. Okay. Well, that was a little bit off, but. I have faith in the Omnia W. It's a very, very powerful phone. So, and there we go. The Omnia W is straight ahead already. Now, I'll get you to just take note of the um, the performance of both. You can see the Omnia W is just flawless, and you can see right there the Omnia Seven noticeably more laggy than the Omnia W. What we'll do is we we'll just have a quick look around on both devices. We we'll just go left and right. And you can see straight away the Omni W is a huge improvement, absolutely massive improvement on the Omni 7, which has the 1 gigahertz Snapdragon, and we have the 1.4 gigahertz at the bottom here. So that's just another example of how much faster the uh, the Omni W is. Just put them back on the same side here. Now that's pretty much um, everything that um, I could see that we'd use day to day. Um, there is an app here called Flashlight 7. I might as well just launch that on both devices as well. So this is a, um, uh, actually I've got one called Flashlight X, which is um, uses the LED as a torch. So um, we'll just launch that on both devices and see which one's LED turns on first because that's a real world situation there. So they're both on now. And we've got the Omnia W on the right hand. So you can see there, the Omnia W is faster again. Um, you can see it's almost identical, the um, LED flash there. Got some lens flare going on, fully hectic. Um, and when we exit out of the application, it should turn off in the same amount of time. Omnia W turns off first again. So that's pretty much um, everything. The last thing I'll go a launch is the uh, camera. So what I'll do is I'll actually just go to the application here and um, camera three, two, one. Actually launched it slower on the Omnia W, but the Omnia W launches faster. It's um, really good in taking a photo as well. Omnia W is just miles ahead. Pinch to zooming on both. Very fluid. 
we'll do a quick um, we'll go to the options and I'll do auto fix on both three two one and the Omni W it's almost twice as fast now to turn off So you can see again, real world, real world situation, the Omni W is a much faster phone. Um, under $500 this device. If you want a phone that's got some serious uh, edge on the iPhone, you're sick of the iPhone, um, you're sick of the fragmentation of the Android operating system, this phone is as fast as the dual core Android phones that are out there. It does everything just as well, if not better. Um, Omni W, fantastic phone. If you can't afford that, Omni 7, it's under $300 at the moment. Um, still a fantastic phone. Um, not the best when it comes to, um, to gaming performance, but if you want a gaming performance device, I can't go past the Omni W here. So that's my little review of uh, a Generation 1 Windows phone and a Generation 2 Windows phone. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.